Today's topic, words that block the law of attraction. Today I want to share 11 words with you that block the law of attraction. And if you use these words over and over again, then they can stop the flow of energy and they can stop you from manifesting your dreams and they can introduce a lot of resistance into the equation. However, one short disclaimer before I share the first word with you, if you use this word in a normal conversation once or twice or every now and then, don't panic. That doesn't mean that you have to eliminate this word completely from your vocabulary. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that a lot of deliberate creators use the following words in specific ways that I also want to share with you that stop you from manifesting what you want. If you use these words as a normal way of expressing yourself in a random conversation with somebody, then don't worry about it. I don't want you to freak out and say, oh my god, I just said the word, ah, I will never manifest my dreams. <laughs> That's not what I want. What I want is that you become very deliberate about how you speak about your manifestation and how you speak about raising your vibration and how you speak in general when you talk about the thing that you want to create in your life. And I also want you to Observe yourself when you are talking about these things and maybe you realize that you always use the same negative words and you always use certain words that stop you from manifesting your dreams. That's why I decided to share these words with you. And the first word that I want to share with you is but. The word but. And the word but has a very tricky meaning when you really think about it. When it comes to but, and just to be clear, I'm talking about the but with one T, not the but with two T's. <laughs> when it comes to but, you basically negate the sentence that you said before but. It's when, for example, your partner tells you, I really love you, but how does that make you feel? Do you feel, oh yeah, great, he loves me, woohoo, it's amazing. Of course not. When your partner says, I really love you, but you think, oh, Oh, something's up here. That's, for example, one of the easiest ways to find out if somebody loves you conditionally or unconditionally. If they, for example, tell you, I love you, but please lose weight. I love you, but please change that. I love you, but please do this for me. That's always conditional. And the same is true when you work on your manifestation process. And you, for example, talk about your manifestation and you say, Yes, I really want to live there. I will live there. I'm gonna live there in this country. But what about finding employment there? But what about the money? But what about this? But what about that? By doing that, you always negate what you said before and you doubt yourself and you introduce doubt and resistance into the equation. And then the universe says, oh, damn it, he or she was in such a high vibration before the but. So just leave everything that comes after the but and leave the but completely out. Then you're good to go. Instead of saying, yes, I'm excited to live there, but what if this happens? Instead of doing that, just say, I'm excited to live there and stay in this vibration. And of course, if you want to raise your vibration in an easy and fast way, then you can check out my Vibration Rocket program, which is specifically designed to allow you to raise your vibration with a simple 10-minute guided meditation. And if you want to find out more about the Vibration Rocket program and all the amazing bonuses that you get completely for free, then you can click on the link in the description. And the next word I want to share with you is never. I mean, yes, if you say never say never, that's actually a good thing. However, most deliberate creators don't say never say never. They say, oh, I will never be as wealthy as I want. Oh, I will never find the love of my life. Oh, I will never live at the beach, even though I want to have a house at the beach. Oh, this will never happen. That's the wrong way of thinking about it. If you tell the universe, I never want to experience that, or even if you say, I think or I fear that I never experience that, you still communicate to the universe, I never want that and I won't ever get it. And then the universe says, okie doke, you say and you believe I never get it, so you'll never get it. Believe it and you will receive it. If you use the word never, unless you use it with never say never, which is actually a good thing to say. But when you say I never will, I will never do this, I will never have, I'm never the kind of person who, whatever it might be, and then insert everything you want to manifest, then you have a problem. And you also have a problem when you use the word impossible. 
nothing is impossible. I mean, that's something I can tell you from my own experience, from me personally manifesting crazy things in my life. I mean, crazy good things. And also from my Skype coaching clients. And sometimes I actually have Skype coaching clients that manifest so fast and in such an intense way that I'm even speechless. And where I think to myself, huh, it's amazing how fast these things can happen when you don't have to overcome trauma for so many months. So yes, I'm sometimes even amazed at the results of my Skype coaching clients. And if you want to work with me in a Skype coaching session as your manifestation coach, then you can click on the second link in the description. But back to the word impossible. When you ever catch yourself thinking about it's impossible that this will happen. It's impossible. Even if you don't say it out loud, but you think it to yourself. For example, you, yeah, you just use a certain affirmation and you say the affirmation and afterwards your mind tells you, ah, come on, who are you kidding? That's impossible. Immediately change it into it's possible. And the next word I want to share with you is when. When will it finally happen? When will I finally receive my manifestation? When will it finally be in my bank account? Have patience. Patience, patience, patience and consistency. If you work on yourself consistently, if you work on your manifestation process consistently and you don't ask yourself when will it happen and you allow the universe when it will happen, then you will receive it. And that's something that Dr. Joe Dispenza always talks about when he talks about these healing miracles. When he says instead of saying I have to be healed in three months, then it's nothing that the divine can do because the divine always acts in a way that we least expect. But when you allow the divine to look for the perfect delivery time, then the delivery will be amazing because you will be so surprised in a positive way and you won't even believe it. And then you say, wow, the law of attraction works. And the next word is not. If you ever say, I will not do this, I cannot do this, this is not possible. Don't use the word not so much. Not is not a good word. And should is also not a good word. That's something that I learned the hard way. When I used to work in office jobs in Germany, which I all hated, which made me miserable, I was suffering from insomnia, I was suffering from depression, and I knew deep down, I knew it was not the right path for me. But I should be doing this, because every German should live in Germany and should work there in an office, because we are the culture of office workers. That's what I should do. What happens when you tell a child you should clean your room? The child won't do it. Because nobody wants to do something that we should do. Instead, ask yourself, what would I do if I had all the freedom in the world? What do I really want to do? That's how you get closer to your manifestation. And the next tricky word is why. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to suffer so much? Why do I have to go through all this pain? About one year ago, these were the questions that I always asked myself. Why me? Why do I have to go through this? Why do I have to make all these negative experiences? Why so much contrast? Instead, trust the soup, trust the process, trust the universe that everything will be all right. And what I wrote down back then as an affirmation, or let's say, yeah, not really an affirmation, but as a sentence that helped me to continue to believe in the brighter future, was to say, I might not understand this right now, but it is good for something. It's good for my personal development. And one day I will understand it. And now I do. Now I really understand it. And the next word is wrong. And this is especially tricky when you are talking about other people and how they affect your vibration. What they do is wrong. He did something wrong. She did something wrong. These people are wrong. I'm right. Do you know that there's an interesting scientific study that looked at what happens when two people have a political discussion and both people are from different parties. In the end, none of them is able to convince the other person. They just believe what they believe before even more, even if the evidence says the opposite. That's what happens when it comes to wrong. If you tell somebody they are wrong, they only believe what they believed already. And it also doesn't help you for your vibration because it only messes up your vibration. Instead, say to yourself that everyone is on their own unique spiritual journey. And all that matters is that you do things and say things that are right for you. And if you are raising your vibration on a daily basis and you are then constantly in a high vibration, 
then it will be not only easy for you to manifest your dreams, but it will also be easy for you to no longer care about whether or not you think that other people are wrong. In fact, you won't even care about it anymore and you won't even have that thought anymore. And if you want to raise your vibration, then you can click on the link in the description and find out more about the Vibration Rocket program. And very closely related to this word is the word others. Others do this. Others don't believe in me. Others tell me that the law of attraction is wrong. What do you believe? What is right for you? It's all about your journey. Your journey is not their journey. Everyone is on their own unique spiritual journey. And the same is true for the word will. That's also not really good when you think about it. When you write your affirmation, I will do that, I will live there, one day I will, I will, I will, I will. With this word you basically hold a carrot in front of you with a stick and just like a donkey you always follow that carrot. But you never catch the carrot and you will never be able to eat the carrot. Because the carrot is always in the future. And that happens when you use the word will, when you talk about your manifestations. Unless you want to manifest that you meet Will Smith. Then you can, of course, use the word will. <laughs> and the last word I have for you is the word if. Oh, how I loved the word if. And now I have to be very careful because I'm not a native speaker. As a German, I'm very bad at constructing if clauses. So I hope that all the stuff that I'm saying right now is at least a little bit grammatically correct. <laughs> what I used to say back then was if I was only born without a heart condition. Oh, if I didn't have scars, then I would be... Oh, if I was born in an insanely rich family and I would never have to worry about money. If I only had this in my life. That's why you are here. You are a deliberate creator. And as a deliberate creator, you don't need the word if. You create your life. And you can start right now. And if you want to work with me on creating your dream life, on manifesting the life that you truly want, then you can click on the second link in the description and find out more about Skype coaching with me. And on this page, you also find testimonials from amazing deliberate creators who I worked with in the past and who I still work with. And if you want to be the next success story on this page, then you can contact me today. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.